The UN Security Council has rejected a Russian-drafted resolution calling for a humanitarian ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. It was one of two draft resolutions before the Council. Gabriel Zondo reports from the UN headquarters in New York. Security Council members agree on the necessity of ending the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, but deep divisions remain on exactly how to do that. The key part of the Russian draft resolution was an immediate ceasefire. It was supported by China, UAE, Gabon, and Mozambique. The Russian ambassador said the fact their resolution was voted down was a blow to humanitarian efforts. We're talking about the most serious explosion of violence over the past decades. Today, the entire world waited with bated breath for the Security Council to take steps in order to put an end to the bloodletting. But delegations of the Western countries have basically stomped on those expectations. Those against? The U.S., U.K., France and Japan voted against the resolution. The U.S. said Russia failing to condemn Hamas is the reason why. Russia's resolution put forward without any consultations make no mention of Hamas, none. By failing to condemn Hamas, Russia is giving cover to a terrorist group that brutalizes innocent civilians. It is outrageous, it is hypocritical, and it is indefensible. There is now disunity on the Security Council, but there is a path forward. Brazil has put up its own draft resolution, and it does call out Hamas, but instead of calling for a ceasefire, calls for a humanitarian pause. That draft resolution by the Brazilians will be voted upon here at the Security Council on Tuesday. But already, the Russian ambassador says he has deep reservations about it. Gabriel Ozando, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.